Hey guys, it's the doctor again with a brand new uh, toy uh, hunt episode. Um, we're gonna go and uh, see if we can find some Black Panther figures, see what deals they have everywhere around Nashua because it's inventory season, so people gotta get rid of the stuff. So uh, we'll see what the deals are going on in like stores like Five Below, Toys R Us, Walgreens. Uh, should be a lot of fun. Let's go and see. Okay, guys, we're uh, at Walgreens. The usual. Uh, I'm actually the one downtown in Nashua, so we'll see what they have there. Got a whole bunch of the Force Awakens figures. Maybe I ought to get one down the line, not today. I don't know what I'm looking for, but maybe we'll find something, right? Hmm. I haven't seen this one like ever. Uh, the usual stuff, I guess. Uh, honestly, I don't know what I'm looking for. But who knows? Maybe something will pop out and I'll have to snag it up. But actually, no, I'm looking for like the Black Panther uh, figures today, more or less than that. So. But, you know, not really seeing much here at the Walgreens. Let's see what we got for, uh, this looks like this is the only, uh, Toy Biz figure they got. I could. 50% <coughs> off. 50% off. Got it for 50% off. That's very nice. Vintage. I wish the other, if the other ones were 50% off, I'd be made in the shade. But whatever, this is all the Christmas stuff they're trying to get rid of. So, yep. There you go. That's Walgreens downtown. We'll check in other Walgreens uh, down in South Nashville in a little bit. So, um, yeah, I'm at the Five Below in Nashua. No, uh, no, uh, Full-size Marvel Legends, but they have smaller ones, obviously. They have bendable figures from DC. Uh, a lot of multiverse figures from Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman. A whole lot of Steve Trevors. And, and uh, Rick Flags, apparently. A Diablo on that side. Some Star Wars figures. I don't see any Wonder Woman figures, but whatever. Got some claymation figures over here. Um, shoot. Try to find some here, but you know, you, they used to have the action figures at a different spot. Got some Rogue One figures here. And some uh, other Star Wars figures. Let's see, look at the $5 uh, three and three quarter inch legend figures. So yeah, looks about it for the action figures at five below. Nothing really, you know, catching my eye apparently. So we're in the uh, "quote unquote" movie section of the uh, of the action, the uh, movie figure section of Toys R Us. Don't have much for Spider-Man. You got a bunch of Blu-rays and DVDs. Going down, you have the Despicable Me's. Going further down, you got going to the Justice League department. It is what it is, right? Going down further. Black Panther's got a big uh, selection, looks like. Fashion doll, that's 80 bucks. Or whatever, I guess, right? Going up. We got a whole bunch of Black Panther, you know, uh, play, uh, yeah, play sets, I guess. It's got a vehicle like it. Panther Jet. It's intriguing. I wonder what. Very fits into that. And we are up to the uh, six inch figures. So, um, yeah, I might just get Eric Killmonger. And I'll probably get uh, an Ikea. See how that goes. So, I'm not really into WWE figures, but they have a adult size belt for a hundred bucks. Got a raw main event ring for 120. 
Uh, they have a uh, adult collectible robes of prey. One for Flare. One for Savage. It looks like. Going up to the figures. A whole lot of a uh, vintage. I guess you could say vintage figures. Virgil. Triple H. Undertaker. Got big size figures. Going down past uh, uh, Nano, Space, whatever. If you're into the Power Rangers, they got a whole bunch of that, apparently, obviously. We didn't do so well, but I guess the toys are doing fine, I suppose. It looks kind of, uh, kind of, you know, lacking, I guess, right? Been 10 figures. We're making our way down to the DC department. Batmobile's still there from uh, Justice League, it looks like. Bunch of uh, the multiverse figures, obviously from DC Comics. Looks like doesn't really look look like they have any Justice Leagues. They have a uh, Legends of Tomorrow though. Uh, Adam got a lot of uh, Suicide figures for like twelve bucks. They want to get rid of sixteen dollars for the Batman from uh, from Donna Justice. Whole bunch some more. Uh, a lot of Wonder Woman Justice League figures. That's interesting. So I would have thought Wonder Woman would have been the star. And people would get that. But whatever, I guess. And they have the Deluxe Batmobile. It's a remote control. And it looks like it's going for two forty nine ninety nine. That's one pricey meatball. So... Four inch metal, metal uh, Justice League figures. And behind them are the Mutant Turtles. It looks like. And they have uh, Teen Titans, looks like. So, yeah, that's a DC department, I guess. So, we're in the Marvel department, obviously. Shock of all shocks. Have a whole bunch of uh, the adult collectible helmets like Star Lord and Iron Man helmet, Titan Heroes. Um, shoot. Some more of the Toy Biz figures. Have the Iron Man. I already have that Punisher, so I'm not looking for a repaint. Two packs for the uh, for the Avengers figures. Moving down. Some called the uh, fangirls. That looks a little weird, but what do I, who am I to judge? I have uh, the two packs of the uh, Mighty Thor Legends, Avengers, Thor Ragnarok. So Is that Spider-Man Vulture playset. I have no clue what that costs. Moving down, we got some more Marvel accessories. Hulk gloves. Mystery uh, hot keychains. You see do dog tags. A bunch of these nano metal figures. I don't know what they're about, but whatever, I guess. Turn around, you have. The bigger figures or accessories, some big figures, plushy figures, whatever. Let's uh, take a look and see what the Marvel Legends look like. So we're at my usual spot, the Marvel Legends, right? So uh, let's take a look. I uh, have probably the usual suspects by the look of it. A lot of the uh, Man-Thing figures, obviously. The uh, Doctor Strange figures, look by the looks of it. Got a few from the Sandman line. Daredevil, Jessica Jones, 
Punisher. Another Punisher. Duh. Blade. Bullseye. I might come back to this later on, but let's see. The uh, group build a figure. Some. That's uh, the All Father. So they must have gone back and picked up some stuff from the inventory department, I guess. So, yeah, yeah. And you have the three packs on the bottom from the Avengers themselves. Moving over here. Had the larger uh, Marvel Legends series, so you can see how huge Hulk is compared to Captain America. It's really big, right? And we're getting into the Star Wars department. So now we're in the collectible department, obviously. I'm going to take a look around. And, uh, you know, the usual Ghostbusters on, the new Ghostbusters on clearance. Best of AF, what does that mean? But that's Walter Peck. Everybody knows about him. Have, uh, Leon Spengler. I wish that Ash was on was on a discount, but whatever. That is what it is, right? That's a Ghostbuster proton pack from the new movie. Mm, who really wants that, right? Some alien figures. One down. Blade Runner figures. Aliens. That's a. Uh, that looks like that's the metal figures. Obviously, I think I might be wrong. The Harry Potter. That's probably where they have the nano figures at back here. Moving on. Doctor Who. It's not really a twelve-inch figure, is it? but Robocop versus Terminator. Future Robocop. I'm almost half considering in those, but whatever. Ash vs. Evil Dead. Let's see what this guy is. Oh my lord. I almost want to get this so I can just to do the review. Let's see it. That's probably costing a bundle though, I think. I might be wrong, but maybe we'll check the price and see. Moving on. So, Toys R Us seems to have this set up now to promote the old the fan. Uh, it's called the Fan Vault, I guess. Probably again more into the uh, collectible market, obviously. Whatever, right? Moving along. <laughs> and they have a whole bunch of uh, Funkos, it looks like. Not you know me, I'm not a Funko guy, but people are, right? They have Funko vehicles, that's kind of interesting, but you probably only fit one guy in there. Funko's all over the place. Remember last year when I got these for like 14 bucks? Now the star packs for the Infinities down to 198. That's crazy. And they're, well, it looks like they finally got rid of the Infinity figures because they're down to a they were down to a buck. So, in set that to a rest in peace, right? So we got ourselves a good news, bad news story. We'll start with the bad news first. Target's toy department was all in shambles because they're uh, moving everything around again. So I really couldn't get footage of to see what they have there. But the good news is they had a Submariner, so um, it's not a total loss, right? So, uh, yeah, we're going to check out some of the other stores that are going on. And uh, obviously, you see if anything's changed in the last week. Eh, probably not, but who knows. 
probably going to just uh, hit FYE, and that's probably about it. I've got a good haul so far. Uh, three of the three out of the four figures I need for the Black Panther, uh, the Black Widow figure. So uh, we're good to go right now. So this is the GameStop selection, and with Black Bolt, I have my complete lineup for uh, the build a figure. So yeah, we're gonna build uh, the Okio very soon. So here we are back at the FYE again. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's anything different, uh, except for the uh, Red Hood. It looks like, and the maybe a couple of the Toy Biz. Everything looks the same. It looks like the same uh, Marvel Legends that I've seen before in here. Blade, <laughs> some of the Groot, Build a Groot figures, some Dormammu figures, the two of the same Hulkbuster figures, a bunch of the Juggernauts I have, Doctor Strange. A bunch of the alien figures, the Kremlin figures, NECA, you name it. Uh, a bunch of more of the collectible figures, obviously, the horror figures, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and the aliens and the Blade Runners and the DC. Well, um, that's going to be it for this episode of the Toy Hunt. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, we'll see you in the next Toy Hunt and see how that goes. And, uh, We'll see. Maybe it'll be better. Maybe it'll be fantastic. Who knows? But thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, guys.